What can you say? Let's put it this way. Let's look at the bar chart off to my right. The word fantastical. What this basically represents is two different groups. One a control group and one a group which was given a plant-based diet with about 86 grams of soy to consume over a 12-week period of time. A 12-week period of time. Now keep in mind, let's not get stuck on the detail of soy being beneficial, not beneficial, regardless. Let us look just basically at the outcome. Now what researchers hypothesized was quite simple. They were looking at an element called equal. Equal basically is something that's produced by gut bacteria in response to soy, which can be enhanced through a plant-based diet overall. So what they did is they noticed a lot of times in research where they just use soy, they're modest, modest benefit. But however though, if they created a synergic, synergistic effect, combining a plant-based diet with the soy, fantastical. So with that in mind, let us get right into the research as follows. Study shows diet causes 84% drop in troublesome menopausal symptoms without drugs. A new study published by the North American Menopause Society in the Journal of Menopause found a plant-based diet rich in soy reduces moderate to severe hot flashes by 84%, from nearly five per day to fewer than one per day. During the 12-week study, this is just 12 weeks, nearly 60%, and I will reiterate, or repeat, nearly 60% of women became totally free of moderate to severe hot flashes. Overall hot flashes, including mild ones, decreased by 79%. Now the backstory. In previous randomized trials, soy products have been shown to modestly reduce the frequency of hot flashes. The researchers theorize that the effect may be a result of soy products containing isoflavones, which can be metabolized by gut bacteria into equal, a non-steroidal compound that has been shown in some studies to reduce the incidence and severity of hot flashes. Previous studies have also shown that those following a vegetarian or vegan diet produces higher levels of equal. The new study showed a more robust response using the combination of that plant-based diet with the soy. Henceforth, the incredible results that we just mentioned a few seconds ago. But to proceed, let's go to the dietary intervention. This is not a complex diet. It basically is just following a eating pattern or, or basically a dietary pattern. Nothing necessarily that's like laid out. You do six of this or seven of that three or four times a day. In fact, it's almost overly simplified except for the addition of the soy. But to proceed, dietary intervention. The intervention group was asked to follow a low-fat vegan diet based on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, and to minimize added oils and fatty foods for 12 weeks. That is it. They were provided with non-genetically modified soybeans, obviously they don't go through brands, and were asked to consume a half a cup, 86 grams of cooked whole soybean, soybeans daily. No other foods were provided. To facilitate soybean preparation, participants of both groups who did not already have pressure cookers were provided with them, i.e. the names. Also, too, they were provided 100 micrograms of a vitamin B12 supplement just to play it safe to make certain there was no dietary deficiencies, especially in the vegan group, uh, in reference to uh, B12 levels uh, being dropping below the normal range, but to proceed as follows. Now keep this in mind. I'm going to reiterate. The results were, as we stated, follows. The plant-based diet rich in soy reduces moderate to severe hot flashes by 84%. The outcome, five per day down to one per day. 12-week study, 60% of women became totally free of moderate to severe hot flashes. And overall hot flashes decreased by 79%. Again, that is just to reiterate our intro in the very beginning, but also as well. Now keep in mind, we're not talking different to physical activity levels, so on and so forth. We're just talking the dietary changes and one of the outcomes as well was as follows. Mean body weight decreased by, average body weight for those that are not familiar, by three and a half kilograms. 
in the intervention group and increased by 0.8 in the control group. That is just you know an amazing benefit as well as the reduction of the menopausal symptoms without the need for medications. Now, also as well too, I want to lead you to basically a video that they produced in response to this, which primarily covers a brief explanation as well as some very, very uh, enthusiastic testimonials of individuals after they completed the program and their results and how happy they were with the outcome. Also too, I will also lead you to the link to the abstract of the study. But I want to basically point out, in order to see the full study, like I showed you part of, currently right here, you have to click that open button where I put a little circle around there and you'll download the PDF to the full study itself. Because you just go to the link, you're just going to see the abstract. Go to the, click on that open button, go to the PDF, you'll see more of the full study in detail, methods, methodology, statistical analysis, so on and so forth. Probably more than you really want to see, but at least what will happen is it gives you solid validation in reference to this randomized controlled trial, the outcome that basically was announced prior. 84% drop in troublesome menopausal symptoms without drugs. Again, links will be there for you. Fairly simplistic in reference to the dietary recommendations, plus the 86 grams of soy that was consumed on a daily basis for 12 weeks. But yet, fantastical, amazing, just an incredibly, incredibly beneficial study which could yield tremendous benefits for a large portion of our population. Again, gratitude. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you all once again next week. See you next time. Bye.